guys, welcome to this week's video. I'm excited to do this video with you guys. Last week was a lot of fun and I'm excited to do a Christmas bucket list with y'all. And this one's gonna be quarantine style since I know a lot of us are having to stay home and stay safe this season. I'm gonna be showing you what all you can do for fun from home, even if you're by yourself like me. I think that it'll be a lot of fun and it'll be some of your favorite Christmas traditions just from your house. Okay guys, so we're gonna make the Christmas bucket list now. I'm excited to do this. I've never done this before, um, but since this year is different, I figured it might be a fun way for you to do something at home alongside with me and for us to do something together. So for the first thing on my bucket list item, I'm gonna do a spread good cheer. Um, I have a lot of Christmas goodies that have like piled up since last week. Um, some of the different vendors that I work with for my job sent Christmas goodies and then also as you guys saw bought some Jingle Jangle and um, peppermint bark and stuff like that at Trader Joe's last week so I thought that maybe I could make some little treat bags and drop them off at my friend's house in order to spread Christmas cheer in a safe and distanced way so that's the first thing I'm gonna put on the list is spread Christmas cheer. And the next thing on the list is I'm going to make Christmas cookies. And another fun thing that I'm gonna do is make hot chocolate with one of those little like hot chocolate bombs because they're all the rage this year. And I've already had one of them and it was really good. So I'm gonna make it on here with you guys. And another thing I would love to do is drive around to some of the neighborhoods in town and see some of the Christmas lights because there's just some really awesome Christmas lights and I don't know about you guys, but I love watching and seeing all the Christmas lights because there's just something magical about Christmas decorations and Christmas lights and it's also really fun seeing like who goes fully Clark Griswold and like decorates their house with all the blow up things and stuff like that and I love just seeing like the unique ways that people decorate for Christmas so we're going to add that to the list. And another thing that I want to do is make a gingerbread house just because I think it's fun and it's a creative outlet and just something fun to do and you don't have to do it with a group necessarily in order to have fun and make a cool creation. A couple other things that I want to add to the list is I want to do a Christmas puzzle while wearing Christmas pajamas. Last couple of things that I want to do is um, I've been trying to relearn piano. I used to take piano growing up and I played piano for around 12 years, but I haven't really played in the last several years, but I've always loved playing Christmas music on the piano and I have a keyboard here in my apartment. So I'm gonna see if I can reteach myself a few of the songs and play them for you guys. Since I don't sing, this will be my version of Christmas caroling by playing the piano. And it wouldn't quite be Christmas if I didn't also get a Christmas drink from Starbucks. I actually have not been to Starbucks in forever, but I do love some of their Christmas drinks, so we'll put that on the list as kind of a one extra thing to do. And then I'm gonna finish the night off with watching a Christmas movie while eating some of my Christmas treats. So that can be the very last thing we do. Okay, so we've got our Christmas bucket list now and you can kind of see, I don't know if it's focused, but that's what we're gonna do today. And I think it'll be pretty fun. I'm excited. I've seen some of these videos and love watching what other people do. And I just thought it'd be really fun because I know, like I said in last week's video, I know that this time of year is a really fun time of year. I know that Christmas decorations are sold out everywhere and everyone is excited to have something cheerful this season, but I also know for so many people that this time of year can be really difficult and it can be really hard. I know that mental health um, skyrockets this time of year with depression and anxiety for all different types of reasons, whether it's loneliness or whether it's just the anxiety of seeing um, family members that you haven't seen in a while or maybe it's the stress of um, trying to answer all those questions that we get, the dreaded questions at Christmas about our life or about who we're dating or not dating or when we're having that baby or whatever it may be, those questions that we kind of 
dread getting asked every year at holiday gatherings and stuff, or maybe this year looks a lot different for you and you're gonna be just celebrating at home, whether it's by yourself or just with your roommates or your close family members that already live in your household, I know that that can be stressful as well just not getting to travel or do your normal holiday traditions. So maybe doing a Christmas bucket list with me will be something fun and different to kind of, to maybe just spread some cheer at home and do something you maybe normally wouldn't have done or maybe in years past you kind of are like, oh, we'll get to the Christmas cookies later. But maybe this will be a fun day that you can just do some of these different things along with me and find the joy right where you are. So I hope you enjoy this video and if you haven't already be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment below from some of your favorite Christmas traditions. And if you like this video and want to share it with some friends, I would love that so that more people can find out about this channel. Okay guys, I'm going to make the spread Christmas cheer bags for my friends. Um, I have some friends that live just around the corner and it's they have four roommates so i have all this extra christmas candy so i'm gonna make four little bags of christmas goodies to go and drop off at your their house and i've got these little salted caramels that i got from someone at work and i also got these christmas cookies that came in the mail from also another vendor at work and there's little um macadamia nut chocolate chip and oatmeal raisin cookies all individually wrapped in here and I will never eat all of this by myself so I'm really happy to be able to spread some Christmas cheer to some friends and give them some of this stuff I've also got this peppermint pretzel bark from Trader Joe's and then of course the jingle jangle that I had last week that's so good but again I'll never eat all this by myself so Let's get to making the bags. excited about these I hope that they like them it's got all kinds of little Christmas treats in them I think they'll really love it I'm gonna drop these off at their house and go and get a drink from Starbucks and also make a couple errands on my way and then we'll be back at my house to do the rest of the Christmas bucket list here are the goods I'm gonna go drop it off on my friend's porch and spread some Christmas cheer I just went to Starbucks and I got the Irish cream cold brew it's like a little bit warmer today so I didn't really want to get a hot drink um, plus I'm gonna make hot chocolate later but I just thought I would try one of their like seasonal holiday drinks so let's give it a try mmm that's actually pretty good I haven't had this particular drink but I do love their cold brew and I do love all the different like creams they do on top even though it's probably not that healthy but it tastes really good so try it out there's a couple other drinks i saw on tiktok that i wanted to try but i just did an easy order for tonight so irish cream cold brew cheers
we've done a few of the things on the list but the one thing that i'm not going to get to do unfortunately because they were out of them is build a gingerbread house so so far i've spread christmas cheer i went and saw some christmas lights and i got a christmas drink from starbucks so got a few more things to cross off our list here um but so far we're looking good but i got these cute little jammies from target and i don't really have any christmas pajamas because most of the time i don't have like matching pajama sets but i thought these were really cute and christmasy so i figured we could put them on all right already okay guys welcome to my kitchen it is semi-clean so let's get started i've got these hot chocolate bombs that i'm really excited about they are um mint like hot chocolate so i'm excited for these i had one the other night there was three in this container now there's only two left um but i'm really excited for this because it's really good it's really rich so i may not be able to drink the whole thing and then of course i've got the classic christmas tree cookies and these i know they're not fancy but i'm not a big icing person and these have just always been my favorite at christmas time so i'm gonna make a few of these and then i will turn on the christmas movie i think i'm gonna do home alone 2 because it's one of my favorites and home alone 2 is in new york and new york city is my favorite city in the world fun fact about me and it's also on my like actual bucket list to spend a christmas in new york city one day someday but for now i'll just watch it through the tv and pretend i'm there by watching home alone too but let's get started with the christmas cookies and heating up the milk for the hot chocolate i actually can't do dairy so i'm gonna be doing almond milk um but it tastes just about the same once the chocolate's in there so you can't really tell but let's get started But I feel like this is kind of fun though, because it kind of feels like we're having like Christmas party, Christmas pajama party or something, getting to like hang out in Courtney's kitchen. Um, so I don't know, maybe this is fun for you to watch and get to like do some fun Christmas things with me virtually and we can like make Christmas cookies and everything while staying safe for the holidays. Yeah, they're always like so tiny. And then they like, I don't know, they don't really get too much bigger. <laughs> but here we go. I feel like they used to make more like different like characters for these. Like growing up, there was like snowmen and Santa faces. And now I feel like they really just have like the Christmas tree ones, so. Milk's getting there, just waiting on it to get a little bit hotter, and the cookies are done. It's always like hard to get these out with these oven mitts. Alright, let those sit there for just a second. All right, so our hot chocolate ball is chilling in there. You can see it's melting. Yay, our marshmallows. That's like the most fun part is that there's like marshmallows in the middle. And that's so cool. This is where we're at on the puzzle so far. It's a lot harder than I thought it would be because look how much like white space there is for this puzzle. 
and that was really hard too. But I got that part done and I've got all the edges lined out for the most part, or at least I found all the edges I should say, but again, there's so much white space. So I may have to finish this puzzle another day. All right guys, so I'm gonna attempt to play some Christmas carols on the piano. I took lessons for like 12 years growing up, but I honestly haven't played in probably, probably about seven years now. And I don't even know if I still remember how to re read the music. And like I semi remember which keys are what, but it might take me a minute to reteach myself and it'll probably be pretty choppy. But if I can get at least some like semblance of a song down, I will put it in the video. So let's give it a try. enjoyed this video and I hope that it gives you just some Christmas cheer and gives you some ideas to do at your own house this Christmas whether you are at home or whether you are with family or whatever your plans are this year I hope that this bucket list gave you some ideas to do and that if nothing else it was just a fun video lighthearted something to watch whenever you're just doing stuff around the house I will be posting each week with different stuff and um, right now I'm doing Christmas themed things just because tis the season and I hope that it gave you some ideas for your own Christmas bucket list of things to do with your family or your friends or roommates or significant other whoever or maybe you're also like me and you're by yourself right now uh, preparing for the holidays with your family so if anything I hope that it brought you some Christmas cheer and gave you some ideas of things that you can do or just made you smile or anything like that. Um, I know that this time of year, like I said, can be really difficult for people. So I hope that you can still find the joy, still find some Christmas traditions to do. If you guys have certain Christmas traditions that you guys do or bucket list items that you do every year for Christmas, drop it in the comments below. I would love to read those and interact with you in the comments. And if there's a certain Christmas movie that's your favorite, I would also love to know that. And any Christmas cookies or Christmas treats, whatever, I would love to hear about it. And talk to you guys in the comments and if you haven't already be sure to like and subscribe to my channel like this video subscribe and give a comment on the video it would mean the world to me and if you could share it with other people I would love that as well thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time